withstand that scrutiny, but it, it can just give credence to your work because you were scrutinized. People might have put you down. And then you also talked about uh, they don't mentally strong people don't resent others success. So that's like a perfect example of like, I'm not saying they were hating on you because psychology day, I respect that. I definitely have read articles from there throughout my career. And it's like, from a person, maybe not psychology day, but in general, did you experience of that from your circle or people, maybe not your friends, but adjacent to you and other maybe colleagues when you started getting traction? Yeah. So my, you know, my friends and my family, everybody has been super supportive and then of me throughout the journey, but like other self-help authors sometimes aren't always the kindest people. And it's amazing because, um, right. I know it's just, it's oh, now that I have the inside scoop on what some of this is like, but like I had one who, um, you know, wrote, wrote a letter that was not very kind. And it's sort of like the person who talks about kindness, or I had somebody that publicly said some fairly mean things. And it's somebody who writes about bullying. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, I don't mean to laugh, but that's, that's crazy. Like it's, it's, counterproductive to what they're pushing but there they are writing you right and so um yeah i certainly had to deal not everybody was happy with it and you know obviously when you put stuff out there you'll get reviews comments things from people that um don't necessarily appreciate what you're doing and then on the other hand it's also tempting sometimes to look around and think well how come this person sold 20 million books and how come this person their advice is really really popular even though maybe it, i don't think it's all that sound when it comes to mental health advice yet you know it has way more views than my stuff does how come so there is that tendency and i think in today's world where it's so easy to see how somebody else's business is doing how much traffic their website gets how many followers they have on social media mm -hmm. we can easily get bogged down into comparing ourselves to how we think other people are doing well from my perspective as someone who's in the psychology field but also has read your work I personally look at anything in these these categories, whether it's your work. I, like I said, I read Carol Dweck. There's Anders Ericsson. I read his stuff with peak performance and uh, deliberate practice. I personally look for the ones like yourself or them who have some kind of educational background. It doesn't necessarily have to be PhD or 2,200 pages of research, but they have that foundation because I respect that more because I know you still have a spin on it because you told your story, but you still integrated the, the literature, the work from the, the empirical evidence on top of that versus some self-help authors I personally don't really get into because of the opposite. I'm fine with telling great, I'm not saying I wouldn't read it, but I just hold it to a different standard. So I can maybe see why, I don't know who they were, but if they didn't have that background, I could kind of see why, because now they might be taking offense to it, even though you didn't do anything because, oh wow, she, she's coming from this, this angle and we don't have that kind of thing. Yes, I agree completely.